Hey man, this VR thing, it's not even on. I was promised scares, jump scares. You know what? I'll regret that later. I'm Roger from Shuttle. You guys should know me by now. And there's a reason for that awkward intro. Gaming. A lot of people's favorite pastime. If only things were a little more streamlined and smaller. I think we have the solution for you. You guys may have seen this before, but this is the official Shuttle X1. So everything's locked in and ready to go. This is our gaming nano. So if you guys are Shuttle veterans or have known Shuttle for a while, you guys know that we were originally, you know, we dabbled in gaming for a while. We kind of strayed off from that, even though we do have products that can be gaming units, but this is specifically built for gamers. This is targeted towards gamers, granted, if you still like the small form factor in the looks, you can still use it as a workstation or digital signage if you want to push five displays. Or if you just want to use it as a HTPC computer, you're more than welcome to. Computers can do whatever you want. Nonetheless, this is the Gaming Nano and this is the retail box. So we're going to do a live unboxing here. It's not really live, it's not being broadcasted. You get the gist of it. So here's the Vibe headset. I'm going to put this away. All right, so let's open the box. All right, I'm gonna put the box down to so get better, better leverage on it. There we go. So here's the unit, packaged. Let's see what we got in here. We have get this out. Get an accessory box, which has our power brick and SATA cable, SATA ribbon cable. If you hook, if you want to hook up a 2.5 inch drive. Keep that in mind. You need it to power the unit and hook up the drive. Also comes with a Ziploc bag that comes with a quick guide, it looks like, and a driver CD. So very important. And finally, the unit itself. So let's take this styrofoam out. Oop. Plastic to prevent scratches, and there it is. The Shuttle X1. If you saw our sneak peek video, not much has changed. Now everything is locked in. So this comes in two flavors, an i5 and i7 version. Furthermore, it comes with 8 or 16 gigabytes, upgradable all the way to 32, at your own risk, of course. Uh, also comes at the 1060, 3 gigabyte versions. And uh, some in, there's Intel wireless in here, dual band. So if you're not going to hook this up directly via RJ45, you have Wi-Fi capabilities as well. And uh, also space, if you guys weren't paying attention, accessory box can accommodate a 2.5-inch drive, so a total of two drives. So let's break it down. Here's the unit. I wish you guys can understand how small this unit is. Networks. This video is not sponsored by Pepsi, although if they want to, please reach out to us. The Pepsi can is actually taller than the unit. It gives you kind of perspective on how small this thing is. So it's actually shorter than a soda can. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as skinny as a soda can, but there are some, there are some trade-offs. So what do we have? We have a power button. But you need to power the unit on. SD card reader, if you're going to use uh, SD storage, you got you covered. Two USB 3.0s in the front, and notice how they have a little lightning cable. Does not mean the unit's going to get struck by lightning or it's going to go any faster, no. Um, the reason for the lightning insignia is to show you that it is two amps capable. So any devices that need charging and can take advantage of two amps, you can charge them using those two ports. So very convenient if you're not near a wall outlet. You can just use this unit to charge your devices faster if your device is supported. If we flip the unit 360, we got some ventilation here and ventilation here to keep the unit nice and cool. Also wish it's actually kind of robust. That can bludgeon someone if I ever get attacked. Anyway, here's a plethora of I.O. here. Let's break down the I.O. 
Kenningson lock. So if you're a retail store, you're gonna show this unit off, and due to its small form factor, you're scared somebody's gonna not literally pocket it, but steal this, put a Kenningson lock on it, you're good to go. 3.5 millimeter audio, so if you're gonna hook up a headphone or microphone, done. You got a plethora of USBs. You got two 3.0s here, and the rest are 2.0. So, you know, mice, keyboards, printers, uh, whatever you're gonna hook up that uses USB devices, you got you covered. And one, two, three, four, five video outs. The fifth video out is USB 3. It's running USB 3.0 speed, so keep that in mind. But you can do five independent displays. Two are being generated from the Intel chip, and three from the 1060. So, if you're a gamer, a lot of FPS gamers out there, uh, you'll most likely be using one screen. But for whatever reason, if you need five independent displays, you can do so. Um, but most gamers just use one screen, 144 hertz, especially FPS, or MOBA gamers. Uh, you guys only use one, two max or for, you know, workstation purposes. Um, furthermore, the three here that say primary display, that's the 1060, so keep that in mind. If you want to take full advantage of the graphical horsepower of the unit, you'll hook it up via the 1060. RJ45, for uh, if you're going to hook this up via wired, uh, wired connection to your network, RJ, RJ45 connection is available there, one gigabit capable. And furthermore, here's your DC in, which so your power brick goes in there, powers the unit. And um, I mean that's the complete breakdown guys. It's a very small unit, very compact, very robust, doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. And just for reference again, I mean, look at that. So emphasis on the VR, you know VR is still a thing. People like VR, especially the jump scares, you know, Emily wants to play, Five Nights at Freddy's, stuff like that. Very portable, very on the go. Don't need to lug, lug around a giant ATX or micro ATX tower. No need to lug those things around. Especially if you're a gamer that goes to LAN parties. Very portable, easy to carry, easy to store. Uh, furthermore, uh, like I said, I just wish you guys knew how small this feels. It's very small, very robust, and it's very upgradable. Maybe we'll do a video in the future. I shouldn't say maybe. We will do a video in the future, how to break this unit down so you can upgrade it. You can max it out to 32 gigs. You can put an NVMe drive there. You can put a one terabyte drive there, two terabyte, even 10 terabyte drives, if the 2.5 inch varieties exist. Um, but more, like I said, gaming on the go, very portable, very great unit. You can uh, put very hidden away from sight. So if you're a very neat freak, it's no problem. Like I said, one day we'll get this hooked up so I can uh, be very scared and run from my life because those games petrify me. Anyway, guys, you guys know the drill. Visit our website, us.shuttle.com. If this isn't your thing, if you like the cubes better, you know, more custom built, or if you like our other lineup, our Slims, our Nanos, our three liter chassis, you know, give us a visit there, us.shuttle.com. You can see our complete lineup there. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel to be uh, up to date with our recent releases and our how-to guides. I don't know if we're making a dedicated channel to that, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, YouTube, subscribe, comment, you know, hate mail, praise, whatever. Make your comments known. If you're not a, if you're not a YouTube person, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, services at us.shuttle.com. Feel free to make them known there. We read it. That's why we have those how-to guides that are I'm not sure if they're released yet. They are coming though. And uh, Facebook, visit our Facebook. Another way to get in touch with us, you know, comment on our Facebook. You can keep track of us there. And at Instagram, if you like Instagram, if that's your thing, Instagram at Shuttle Labs. I apologize for your continuity guys. I like continuity too, but Shuttle Labs is what, what we can do. At Shuttle Labs, you can see our our adventures there. And that's pretty much it, guys. Gaming on the go, our re-entry into the gaming platform. For all you gamers out there, the Shuttle X1, perfect small form factor solution, 1080p gaming for your Overwatch, Counter-Strike guys, or just casual gamers in general. Just have no problem crushing it. Or if you're an HTPC guy, you can stream your movies, no problem. Anyway, guys, I seriously want to get this hooked up.
Maybe I'll be a behind the scenes video. Maybe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.